Last year, I got to check out the SwitchBot bot. This is a little tiny robot that allows you to turn non-smart things into smart products. Over here, I have this big light. I put a SwitchBot on there, and now I can automatically turn it on and off with my Google Home or my Amazon device, and it's really cool. I also got to check out the thermometer and the hydrometer and the SwitchBot Hub Mini. Well, in today's video, we're gonna check out two brand new products. One is the SwitchBot Curtain, and the SwitchBot remote. And I'm gonna show you how these new devices combined with some of the other ones they already have are now able to all work together. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So I've already done a full video about these different devices right here. I'll leave a link to it at the end on how to get them set up and everything that they do. But right now we're going to focus on the new product. So here we have two SwitchBot curtains and we have the new SwitchBot remote. So essentially you'll be able to just push this button and then it can automatically open your curtains or it could interact with your SwitchBot bot. And so you have this really cool ecosystem now. But now let's check out what the SwitchBot curtain is all about. So here it says it will connect with Amazon Assistant, Google Assistant, Siri Shortcuts, IFTTT, works with SmartThings, and works with Clova. And this is able to attach to a rod. Now there are different styles that you can get to automate your different curtains, um, but this is what I have. And here it says it's a very simple setup. You're gonna download the SwitchBot app. We're going to install this, and then we're going to calibrate and enjoy. Now, the reason you would need two is if you have a bigger curtain, like here I have two different sections of my curtain, so uh, you need two to have it open and close each of them separately. And then here on the back, it says that we are able to use this to wake up with sunshine, um, smart living, energy saving, anti-theft. And then it's best if you use it with a remote. So here you can use this. You can also use this with a solar panel that will automatically recharge this. We have the curtain, the hub, and the thermometer that we can use together and the bot. So we can have it set when the temperature in the room reaches a certain temperature, it could automatically close the curtain, which is pretty cool. And then over here on the side, it says we're gonna install this in 30 seconds, set up a schedule, touch and go. And last here, it's saying check your diameter of your rod to make sure they're compatible. So a diameter could be 15 millimeters to 40 millimeters, or their circumference would be 47 millimeters to 100 and. 25 millimeters. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. So here it comes with a manual and here is the switch bot curtain. Now I have seen this before. I saw an early release of this, but I like this new style. It looks like it's going to attach to the rod much better so that you can fit it onto exactly the size of your rod. And then here also inside the box, a lot of cool stuff here. So here we have a few different attachments. We have a USB-C power cable to charge it up. So these little devices are grab clips. So this allows you to attach this to um, different types of curtains so that you can then have the switch bot uh, push it from the side and it's able to open and close instead of just running over and get stuck. So that's what these are for. So to put this on our rod, you can just press right here and then it will allow you to slide up and down. So you're just going to clamp this right onto the rod. And then this little wheel right here, that is what is able to move this and open and close it. So it works pretty simple. And then here on the back is where you will charge it. Here is your pairing or reset button. And there is a little light indicator right there. And let's check out the SwitchBot remote. So here we just get a manual and we have a tiny remote and then a little piece of Velcro so that you could attach this anywhere. So it does have two buttons. Looks like you can have a on and off, very simple. And then here we have a CR2450 battery and we will need to pull that to get it set up. And now onto the installation. So to install this um, is what we need to do is we're gonna pull this up. And so all there is is a button right here that you're gonna push down to open and close. And then down here, you have these little tabs. So you're gonna open the left tab and the right tab. And I don't exactly know why this is supposed to work this way, but we're gonna pull this up and we're gonna push it till both of those snap in. So it makes it a little bit higher, 
but maybe that aligns up the rod a lot better. And then we're just going to rest this on a rod and push this down until it clamps right there. So let's go ahead and get this installed. So I'm gonna do it right here where you can't see it, but just to show you, I'm just gonna put it over like that and I'm going to press down until it clamps on. And then we'll do the same for this side, making sure that we start in the middle as we're gonna open and close. All right, installed. All right, so it looks like the curtain rod I have is too small. I've clamped it down as tight as I can, and it's not tight enough to grip onto the curtain rod. So I have a new rod here. Um, now one thing I do notice is right here where it changes sizes, um, the switch bot is gonna struggle to go over that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move it slightly off center, and that's where the left is going to start, and then this is where the right is going to end. So it doesn't look perfect, but I think that will do the job. Now we're just gonna head into the SwitchBot app, and then I'm going to allow for permissions. And like I said before, I have already set up a hub. I'm not using the Hub Mini, I actually have the Hub Plus already set up, and my office thermostat, as well as a SwitchBot. So I'm just going to select Plus, and then here it's asking what device we're going to set up. So we're going to set up the curtain. So all we need to do is long press on the button for two seconds, until the LED starts flashing and then tap next. All right, and this is curtain left. And then we're gonna choose what type of device this is. So here we have a rod. And then we're going to choose the type of curtain that we are using. And here I'm using the grommet. And there's also the grommet alternative down here. And then here you have the choice for an installation guide. And since I've already installed it, now I'm gonna choose how this is going to open. So here you have the option to open from left to right, open from right to left, and I want it to open from the middle, and here it says to open from middle, you do need two curtains, do you want to continue? Yes. And here it's giving me the option to add a second curtain. So now we're gonna pair that one. And we're gonna call this curtain right. And here it's saying that it's putting them into a group, and down here, curtains relative position. The actual placement of the two curtains may be different from what you see below. And so you can tap on these to make sure that they're in the right position and you could swap right there in the middle. But let's go ahead and calibrate. Please press the buttons below to move the curtain left to fully open the position following the direction in the animation above. So now we're going to move this to the left until it opens all the way. <laughs> Okay, pause. So now I'm supposed to make it fully closed. And that's where it ends. Okay, that is working great. So now on the curtain right, we're going to make it fully open. Pause. And then we're gonna select next, and now we're going to make it fully closed. So now you can test out your configuration right here by pressing the different buttons. All right, so let's test that out. I'm gonna select move to fully closed. So it looks like I need to recalibrate fully closed a little bit. Okay, so now everything is working great, so let's go ahead and finish. Bingo, we are done. So now we have the curtain here. So it is currently called curtain left, but it did create a pair of them. So we can go into the settings here and we can change this to office curtain. And let's go ahead and test that out again. And we have close. <laughs> That's actually really, really cool. So right here under the curtain, it does show the current battery life. And over here, it's showing if a solar panel is connected. Right now, we do not have one connected. And depending on usage, the battery could last up to eight months. 
So here, some of the other options we have is you could pause. So let's say we only want it to open a certain amount, then we can pause it right there. And then here we have the option to go to open and close and it changes both of them at the same time. Next here we have light sensing beta. So with this, it would adjust depending on how much light is in the room. So you can say if it's a certain level of light, go to close position. So maybe during the day, you don't want it to be too bright. You could come in here and say, if it gets above a level three, then move to a closed position. And then you can check that right there. So that's a cool little feature. So here we have a delay. So let's say we want to have the blinds open in one minute or close in one minute we are able to do that. So then you would choose a position. So let's say in one minute, we want the blinds to open, select confirm, and then it's going to do that delay. And here you can see a timer. And there it opened after one minute. Next you have the schedule. So here for the schedule, let's say we want it to open every day at 8 a.m. And then you can choose what days you want and you can choose the position. So let's save that. And then let's say we want them to close at 5 p.m. So we would create another schedule, choose the hour, let's say 5.30, and choose what days, and then choose the position. And you could have it at like 50% or here we're gonna do full. And then here you have motion mode. So there's performance mode and silent mode. So performance is just gonna make it happen quick or silent mode is it slowly going to have that happen. So let's go ahead and select silent. And here it says selecting silent mode reduces the noise level when the curtain is moving. As a trade-off, curtain will move at a slower speed and there might be conditions that it cannot open or close the curtain. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, let's try it out. And then we select save. And now we have our fully open and our fully closed. And here it's saying if it's a performance mode or silent mode. So that is the schedule. And then down here you have the motion mode. So if you want to set that motion mode all the time, we can choose silent mode. And again, it's giving us that warning. So let's go ahead and listen to what silent mode is like. So let's close. So I'd say silent mode isn't very silent. I think it's actually better to have it in performance just so it can open and then be done. And it's not this noise that keeps going. I have some other smart blinds that have kind of that slow tilt and it ends up being a little too creaky. And so I think I'll stick with the performance mode here. And those are the main settings for the office curtain. So let's go back and then let's go into the settings here. And there's where we can adjust the name. Here we have advanced settings, so we can do touch and go, and we can choose a light. Touch and go allows you to simply touch the switchbot curtain to open or close it. And then the light allows you to turn off the light on the switchbot curtain. Here we have calibration, so you could recalibrate. And here we have pair with the remote. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, we've got the pull tab out. And here we're going to add a new remote and we're gonna hold down for two seconds. There the LED is on the bottom and it beeped. And then we're gonna call this curtain remote. Going back to the homepage, here you have the curtain remote. I could have also just selected the plus and gone in here and added the remote. So let's go ahead and see what the settings are for here. So we have a button press with the dot. And here we can choose if we want to open and close the curtain or if we want to adjust our SwitchBot bot. So let's go ahead and choose the curtain. And let's say when we push this button, it's going to fully close. And there we have the performance mode again. And then here when we press the other button, the office curtain is going to fully open. All right, let's give it a try. So this one is going to open. And this one is going to close. And if you can't find your remote, you do have this option to find the remote. And is what that's going to do is it's going to beep and flash 
the light on here, which is actually pretty cool. I want all remotes to have that feature. That's nice. So we're gonna go back here and on the remote, I'm gonna check a few more settings. Under advanced settings, here we have the option to turn off the light or the sound. So I don't need the sound. I'm going to turn that off so that it doesn't beep every time I push the button. And so that's pretty much it on the remote. Now, if we go back into the curtain settings. All right, so next we're going to look at cloud services. So it's really important to me to be able to have these devices included within my Google Assistant or my Amazon Assistant routines. So all I need to do is turn that on. And here you can see Amazon Assistant already discovered that there is a new device called Office Curtain. And if we head into the Google Home app and scroll down to the bottom, here we have a device called Office Curtain. So I'm just going to add that into my home and put it into a room. Now in the Google Home app, you're not able to do anything, but let's go ahead and test out voice commands. Hey Google, open Office Curtain. Close Office Curtain. Now for our Amazon Assistant, we're going to head under the Devices tab, and I'm gonna go into the room I have here. So I'm going to choose Office, going to select Edit, and we're gonna scroll down and find Office Curtain. And there it is. Select Save. And here we have the Office Curtain, and I have the option to close or open. So now let's select Open. Ah, it's too bright. Tap, close. So I really like how it knows what state you want it to do. So if you want it to open or close, sometimes with the switch bot, you just say turn on when it's already on and so then it turns it off. So it's nice, you do have the option here with the curtain to do that. So let's test this out with the voice. Open the office curtain. <laughs> Close the office curtain. And with your voice assistant, you can also say, hey Google, set office curtain to 50%. So this is nice. If you just want a little bit of light, it doesn't open all the way. And there you go. Uh, here we have log. So log is gonna show you when you opened and closed the curtain, which is pretty cool. Next you have firmware and battery. So if you wanna see how much battery life you have left on your curtains to see if they need to charge, you can come in here and you can see I have 87% and 85% remaining. And then here you do have FAQs if you have any questions about that. And then you have the option to ungroup if you want to add them back and control them individually, and you can delete them from the app right there. So that is the office curtain and the remote. Now let's go ahead and show you how you can have all of these different devices work together. So I'm thinking of something like if it gets too hot, it's automatically going to close the curtain so that the sun isn't beating down on the room and it's going to help you save energy. So first is what I wanna do is I want to open the curtain. And now we're going to come up here to the menu and we are going to create a scene. So a scene is when certain things change when a condition is met. So here we're gonna create a scene and we're going to change the name. So let's call this Hot Day Curtain, interesting name. And then we're going to choose um, what conditions. So here you have manual execution. So if you manually open or close or you have a schedule, but here I have the device. So here's my office thermostat. And let's say if the temperature reaches, let's say, 73 for fun. So if it gets higher than 73, then we can go here and add an action. So here we have two different options. I have my bot or I have my office curtain. So if I tap on curtain, then I can choose to fully open or fully close. And again, we have motion mode. So let's say if it reaches 73 degrees, then we're going to have it fully close just like that. And then down here, we have the option to choose when that's going to happen. So is that gonna happen every day, all day long? Or is that going to only happen between the hours of 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. or something like that? Or here we can choose nine, and then let's choose an ending time, just like that, and select save. And then you could go ahead and create another one, 
and select that if the temperature drops below 70 degrees, then it would automatically open the curtain so that you can then have the light and it's not going to get too hot in the room. So it's really cool that you have all those different options with the scenes. And then when the room gets too warm, the curtains automatically close. Close office curtain. Okay, that seems to work pretty well. So I'm actually really impressed with the new SwitchBot curtain. From the one that I received a year ago to this one, there's been some huge improvements and this works so well. I love having both of the devices and it's able to open up the window and close the window and it's worked really, really well. I also love the integration of the new button. It's so nice that I can now easily just push a button and it will open the window or close it depending on what I want. And it's nice that I can then mount this anywhere in a convenient location so I always have access to it even if I don't want to use voice. I love using the voice commands and using the app and everything, but everyone else in the home, it's always hard for them to interact that way. So it's nice to have an actual button, something that they can easily press. It's always in the same place to interact with the devices. So I think this is a really cool unit and having the light and the sound is amazing. And I love that I can turn them on and off. I really think every remote should have those functions. So. Uh, thumbs up on the remote as well. And so if you do have a curtain that would work with the SwitchBot curtain, these are definitely worth checking out. Having window coverings that are automated has been one of my favorite smart home integrations. It's so nice that it can automatically open up to let the sun in or close in the evening to have more privacy. It would be cool if there was some way to have it done with one device, but having two devices definitely answers the biggest question I had about how is this actually going to work with the curtains that I have because I have the two piece set. If you have a one piece set on a single rod, you would be able to use just one switch bot curtain where it can then open all the way and close all the way. But again, if you do have a pair of curtains, you would need to. Now there are a lot of different promos going on right now and SwitchBot has given me a really cool Black Friday promo or a promo during this whole season. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below of a discount code that you can use when you head to SwitchBot's website. So if you have any further questions about the remote or the SwitchBot curtain or any of the SwitchBot devices, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer those. And if you wanna see how to set up your SwitchBot hub or how to use the SwitchBot bot, I have all my videos over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.